Hey guys, this is Dan with Gears and Gadgets. Thanks for tuning in. So this week there was some big news about a Harley Davidson branded GMC Sierra. It also just so happened to be unveiled here in my backyard at Barrett Jackson in Scottsdale, Arizona. So I shot over there today. I will go into pricing and some of the options at the end of this video, but first, Blake from Tuscany Motors went through and explained the whole vehicle, and there's nobody better to explain it than Blake, so I'll go ahead and jump into that now. We're here at the 2020 Harley-Davidson GMC. We're going to be building 250 of them for the 2020 model year. This is actually truck number 001. So some of the things that we did to make this truck become a GMC Harley-Davidson edition is we took the base SLT 6.2 tr truck, uh, we took a, uh, the PDU, uh, PDT package, which comes with all the great options that people are looking for in a pickup these days. Heated and cooled seats, heating steering wheel, navigation, sunroof, um, all the bells and whistles that you know, your buyers are looking for. So on top of that, we go through and we completely redesigned the front of this truck. So all the way from the front bumper, this is actually a brand new front bumper cover. Um, it's designed to actually have a higher incline on the front. Now what that incline does is it shows a little bit more tire and gives the truck a really unique stance when you're looking at it from the front. Along with that, we took this lower Valance. We have the brand new design of the aggressive teeth, a 20 inch LED light bar that's integrated into that, into that Valance, and orange tow hooks. So one of the things that Tuscany and Harley wanted to do is we wanted to take the best styling designs that GMC already has and you know mirror them into a truck so it looks like it came from the factory. Uh, so one of those things being is the orange tow hooks like what you see um, on the AT4 model chassis up by GMC. We also have the Harley Davidson all new grill and grill surround. So you'll actually see that there's a Harley Davidson name plating right here. Uh, we took the, a very similar style to the Denali grill, but instead of having the, water, uh, the waterfall grill, you have actually little Harley Davidson emblems within the, within the grill itself. Blacked out GMC logos. And personally, one of my favorite things is the full hood replacement, which is active air. So this uh, hood actually does allow airflow into the engine compartment. A lot of the guys will notice that this truck's a lot taller. And how we're able to do that is we went through and we did a BDS six inch suspension system. Uh, you get a full strut replacement on the front. And so what that allows you to do is that allows you to keep the factory ride geometry the same. So this truck's gonna ride and drive just as well as a factory truck. You've got the 22 inch Harley Davidson Fat Boy wheels, a 35 inch Nitto Open Country tire, custom fender flares, and then moving along onto this side, you've got the Harley Davidson embossed uh, Active Air fender vent. So we took the factory fender vent and threw it away and we actually made an Active Air one. So it is actually a functional vent to work with the full functional hood. The interior, you've got the uh, black piano insert pieces, the Harley Davidson CVO inspired black and orange diamond stitch seating, Harley Davidson embossed into the back of the seat. Sitting in the interior, um, there's a lot of little details that you're going to notice, one being the piano black interior, along with the numbered edition placard right here with the Harley Davidson bar and shield. Um, so this truck right here is actually number one. Um, it's going to a dealership in California. It's actually Borjan GMC and, and Paso Robles. Um, you get the billet pe pedals and the Harley Davidson uh, stainless steel gauges. One of my favorite features, which is something that a lot of people don't pay attention to, is the tonneau cover. Rather than just buying your off-the-shelf tonneau cover, we actually have a Harley Davidson DeBoss logo on the top of the tonneau cover. So everywhere around this truck, you're going to find Harley Davidson, you know, little bits and pieces. We actually integrated this Harley Davidson placard into the back of the truck, and it actually works with that multifunction tailgate, which is everything that you know GMC buyers love that that tailgate. And being able to make this piece work with that technology was really important to GMC and also to us. So that along with the back rear bumper and the uh, Harley Davidson ceramic black and orange tips, this truck is uh, really not even a factory truck by the time we're done with it. We've, we've changed so much parts and pieces on it. Uh, and it it's been a very exciting project. Uh, it took us about a year and a half of design, uh, design and development. Um, we're only building 250 of them and they'll be available on dealers lots. Uh, you know, starting late February, early March. Now the really cool thing about the GMC truck is it comes from the factory with 420 horsepower, 460 pounds of foot torque, uh, more than enough horse, you know, horses to get you up and running. Uh, you're gonna have no trouble pulling your trailer, you know, put a CVO on the back and drive up to Sturgis and have a great time. It's been a fantastic product. Uh, Harley's been a great company to work with and we're really excited and, and we can't wait to see these things, you know, driving up and down the road every day. 
So thank you very much to Blake from Tuscany Motors for that explanation. I certainly couldn't have done it any better. So what I would like to do is go into the color options. It will come in a summit white, satin steel metallic, and onyx black color, which you saw in the video here. The truck is sitting on 22-inch Harley-Davidson branded Fat Boy styled aluminum wheels. Those wheels look really awesome in, in person. The video doesn't even do them justice. They, they look really great. On 35-inch all-terrain tires, it does have a BDS suspension, uh, which is designed for this truck specifically, uh, which has uh, Fox shocks as, as a part of that. It has the AMP Research uh, Power running boards, which AMP also happens to be a sponsor of this channel, a longtime sponsor of the channel. Uh, not related to this video, but just a little shout out to AMP Research. And one of the nicest features, in my opinion, is this Harley Davidson branded grille. I think it just redefines the entire look of the front of this truck in a very, very positive way. These newer trucks, the newer GM trucks, I'm not totally sold on the front ends. And I think that this Harley Davidson branded GMC Sierra fixes everything that I don't necessarily, I don't hate it, but the things that I don't totally love about it, this whole front end is absolutely beautiful. And yes, you have Harley Davidson branding everywhere. The badging is everywhere, but it is very well done. It's not over the top in my opinion. I think it looks great. The stitching on the seats is beautiful, very much CVO inspired uh, interior design. It is definitely a premium interior. It's absolutely beautiful. Now they wanted to show me there's a, a specific startup of the gauges and it, but unfortunately the truck as a demo on the floor there at Barrett Jackson, the battery was dead. It's just part of how these events go. Uh, you know, the batteries drain. And unfortunately I was on a time crunch, couldn't get the battery charged up. So I wasn't able to demonstrate the gauges, but they promised me that they were impressive. I believe it. So with that being said, what is the price of this truck? It's not for the faint of heart. It is $94,995 is the MSRP. That's a lot of money. Now, do I think the truck is worth it for somebody who's willing to spend that kind of money on a truck? I think so. I mean, the finishes are there. Uh, there's not a lot of performance upgrades with the motor or anything like that. So uh, that's one thing if I had to have any critique to this truck would be, it'd be nice if it was supercharged or had a little bit more performance aspects to it. But is the Harley customer looking for that? I'm not too sure. I'm also not 100% sure if the old Ford F-150s had a lot of performance mods. So let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. I think this truck is absolutely awesome. I think what it represents for uh, the GMC Sierra as far as design cues is everything that I didn't like about the truck necessarily to begin with. So I'm a big fan. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. As always, thank you guys very much for tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in, please hit that subscribe button down below. Remember, likes go a long way to help support the channel. I'll see you guys next time.